Okay, let's talk about uh, putting it all together. So some practice problems for retail pricing and tying that into our financial strategy. Uh, if you go into the Chapter 14 module um, in Georgia View, you will find that I did post a document and it contains practice problems for Chapter 14. Um, and there are seven problems and it walks through uh, markup and markdown uh, markup percentage and break even analysis and so you'll see those and those will be very helpful for you in preparing for the quiz and the exam so I do recommend that you walk through those uh, I will also post the answers uh, to those practice problems so those will be on um, Georgia View as well in a separate document uh, in the chapter 14 module um, there are other practice problems available for you in the textbook there at the end of chapter 14, in the discussion questions section, uh, there are some problems that you can work through. Um, also, your textbook has an online com uh, companion site with practice problems as well. So there should be ample practice problems available for you uh, to complete that, the, the chapter 14 practice problems. Um, and what I have here in this slide, uh, slideshow is kind of an example of how we're going to put our retail pricing and our financial strategy, how we put it all together. Um, so I will post uh, the answers to this as well. There is an answer document um, uh, on Georgia View and you know you can have the questions here. But what this what this slide deck does is it puts together an entire process that a retailer would go through. So if we look at part one, it shows us what the store sold in a given day and it asks us to calculate the sales for the day. Um, it also walks us through, part two walks us through how we calculate our returns and allowances. Uh, so if products are returned to the store or if the retailer had to give a discount. So it asks you to calculate the returns and allowances for the day. Uh, and then part three, you calculate your gross sales. Now, if you think back to our income statement, we have our gross sales number, and now part four is going to ask us to calculate our cost of goods sold or our cost of inventory sold. So it gives us the cost that the retailer paid for each of the items in her store. And you can calculate the cost of goods sold. And part five, you can calculate the gross margin. So after we have our gross margin, uh, if we're walking through our income statement again, the next thing we have to calculate are our expenses. And so that gives you the expenses for the month. Um, and then, you know, again, it asks you for the expenses for the day, assuming a 31-day month. Uh, we'll also look at our indirect expenses. Um, and, and really, this is more our fixed kind of expenses and our, our um, variable expenses. Uh, if you're going to break it down that way, but they would both be in that SG&A category on the income statement. These are both regular um, operating expenses. And so it'll ask you for the total operating cost for the day. And then it's going to ask you to calculate the profit for the store on that particular day. So we can use this to calculate our own um, income statement. Basically, we can get all the pieces we need. And so from this, we can do any of our financial calculations uh, that we learned in Chapter 6. For the exam, um, you will be focusing primarily on retail pricing. So you won't see a problem as in-depth as this one walking you through the entire financial strategy and how pricing ties into it. But it is a great example. I think you should take the time to walk through and calculate it because it will be very, very beneficial for you as you're walking through calculations for your um, financial analysis project. So this is just kind of a great, um, great explanation of how all of these pieces of retailing start to tie together um, when we're looking at our pricing and our financial strategy. And this concludes chapter 14.